There is no such thing as too big to jail. Some have used that phrase to describe the theory that certain financial institutions, even if they engage in criminal misconduct, should be considered immune from prosecution due to their sheer size and their influence on the economy. That view is mistaken, and it is a view that has been rejected by the Department of Justice. To be clear, no individual or company, no matter how large or how profitable, is above the law. When the Department of Justice conducts investigations, we will always follow the law and the facts wherever they lead. Now, sometimes a company's conduct may be wrong, may be hard to defend, but not necessarily be violative of the criminal law. Or sometimes there may be an appearance of criminal wrongdoing that cannot be supported by evidence that would be admitted in a court of law. But when laws indeed appear to have been broken and the evidence supports the allegations, a company's size will never be a shield from prosecution or penalty. It is true that criminal charges involving a, a financial institution can sometimes trigger serious follow-on actions by that company's financial regulators. In some cases, it may even trigger the loss of the institution's charter. In preparing a case, it would be irresponsible not to consider that fact. But rather than wall off banks from prosecution, the potential for such severe consequences simply means that federal prosecutors conducting these investigations must go the extra mile to coordinate closely with the regulators that oversee these institutions' day-to-day -day operations. So long as this coordination occurs, it is fully possible to criminally sanction companies that have broken the law, no matter their size. We have made great strides in improving this type of coordination between our prosecutors and other governmental regulators. This cooperation will prove key in the coming weeks and months as the Justice Department continues to pursue several important investigations. Now, while I will not specify any particular targets, I will say this. I am personally monitoring the status of these ongoing investigations. I am resolved seeing them through, and in doing so, I intend to reaffirm the principle that no individual, no entity that does harm to our economy is ever above the law.